Uh, congratulations on the film. Thank you. Thank you. Um, tell me a little bit about uh, playing sisters, because you guys didn't know one another beforehand, um, and you don't have a lot of scenes in the film, but there's a bond between the two girls in the film, so tell me a little bit about that. There is, yeah. Um, we had two weeks rehearsal process before we actually started to shoot, so the whole Salmon family got to know each other pretty well. And we just kind of clicked, didn't we? Neither Saoirse or I have a sister in real life, so yeah. we really loved the opportunity to play sisters, and yeah. we happened to get along really well, which is very fortunate. It was, yeah. And uh, I think Susie and Lindsay's relationship actually strengthens when she dies mm. um, because Lindsay feels more... Well, I mean, I'm speaking on behalf of your character, but, um, like she has to prove herself, and she needs to put this to rest finally with the grief that her family are going through by breaking into Mr. Herbie's house. Yeah. I think people I know who have lost siblings have very much found that, that it's something that's obviously not separated by death. It's something that, you know, remains just as strong. And um, and I love that there's this opportunity for you while you're in the in-between to still connect with her family on earth one way or another. Well, I think that's one of the things that people have connected with about the book and the movie is the idea that once someone's gone, they're not really gone. Mm. Yeah, exactly. Um, I mean, it's a very layered story, so there's an awful lot of stuff going on, but that's definitely one it's message. It's a very reassuring thought, you know, that, is, yeah. that, that there is some way of kind of keeping somebody alive. And, um, and I think that Susie's family do that in a variety of different ways on Earth. Now, Saoirse, I know you hadn't read the book beforehand, before you started making the film. Had you? Yeah, I had. I read it when it first came out when I was 13, so I was very familiar with it. Now, you didn't read it because you were 13, and you said you, were, uh, you felt a bit too young? Yeah, I felt a little bit too young. Um, it was really just judging from what other people had said about it. Everyone that I talked to said it was one of their favourite books, but the first chapter was a very tough read. And um, because the script was so well written, and I had such great guidance from Pete and Fran and Philippa, I didn't feel like I needed to do that until afterwards. So, How did reading the book beforehand change or I guess is a kind of a hard question, but do you think that it changed the way that you played your character? I don't think it necessarily changed her because I think Pete, Fran and Phil did a great job of translating those characters into the script and I think they really kept true to the heart of each character. But um, it certainly was a very helpful resource for me. I didn't have to create a backstory because it was all there for me and there were any number of different kind of flashback sequences that I could look at that could influence my performance and, and I hope that it did that without detracting from the script at all. Now, both of you have mentioned Pete. Well, I guess we should mention that's Peter Jackson. <laughs> now, you, uh, you're, Rose, you're from New Zealand. He is a, a not a, just a local hero, but someone who's like almost revered in him. Tell me a little bit about working with Peter Jackson. Well, the opportunity to work with him as a New Zealander is obviously just like our top honour as an actor. Um, but... Pete, the best thing about him is you know, people say, were you intimidated? And I wasn't at all. Like, I met him, and he can't, he couldn't be intimidating if he tried. I mean, he's so warm and easy, and and he does his job exceptionally well, but um, but it's a job, and he knows that that's what it is. And first and foremost, he's a person. And I love that about him. I love that you can have a conversation and feel valid and worthwhile, and he really encourages you to bring your ideas as well. Yeah. Well, Saoirse, you have some uh, very difficult scenes in the in the movie. Did he sort of help, I guess, work through those with you and so that it was a little less uncomfortable for you to do them? Yeah, he did. Pete was always there. He was always very, very involved. And um, you can't just really limit him to just one type of direction either. He's not an actor's director. He's not a just a special effects director. He's everything. He's fantastic. And so when Stanley and I did the scenes underground and in the bathroom, which I found even more of an intense scene than the scene underground. Um, he was always very, very involved and his vision was very clear, so it made us feel that little bit safer. But also, um, and he said this in interviews, he's never tried to tell us how to act. He's given us what we need, which is what he wants. And um, we bring our cards to the table and he completely respects that. Richard. Gross.